Hello, in this video, we're going to see about taint and toleration. So the prerequisite is to know something about deployments, pods, and nodes. Let's look at our sample manifest for this exercise. So this is our manifest. We're going to create a deployment with seven pod replicas, and we're going to call the Apache image for the containers. So before creating it, I'm going to show something about the nodes. I'm going to get the list of nodes. We know that there are three nodes in the cluster and we are going to taint one of the nodes. So the command for taint is kubectl taint node followed by the node name. Let's pick the first node and we need to add a taint to it. So how we need to add a taint to it is like we need to specify few things. Like we need to tell the taint key, the taint key be anything, it could be any manual defined name, but to keep it simple, we are going to say taint key one. And then we need to say what the value it has to contain. So we need to put the equal operator and we say the value of it, Again, to keep it simple, we are gonna say taint value one. And after that, we need to specify the effect, which, which, which will follow the colon. After the colon, we are going to put the effect and we are going to say no schedule. So this is how we will add a taint. Taint is like a bad thing, you know, some information on the node which the pod has to tolerate. So while we do this exercise, it should be more easy to understand. So here we're adding three things. One, we're adding the taint key, the associated value to that, and then the effect that it should contain. There are three effects. One is no schedule, one is no prefer schedule, uh, one is prefer, uh, prefer no schedule, and one is one is no execute, no schedule, prefer no schedule and execute. Here, we are going to illustrate about no schedule. So the node is gonna be tainted now. So the node got tainted now. If we go ahead and create our deployment, we have not specified any toleration inside the deployment configuration as of now. We are just going to create the deployment with the standard configuration that it has got. I'm going to create it. The deployment is created and let's check the status of the pods in the deployment. So the container is getting created, two of them are running. We could also use the watch flag if we want. It seems to be running now. So all the pods are running and we can use hyphen O wide to see the nodes on which these pods are running. So we have got uh, a Z4XC, I'm talking about the suffix here and we have got PRG4. Uh, yeah, only two nodes are present. So all the pods are getting scheduled on only two nodes. One node is missing. So let's check the list of nodes again. So this node, the first one, MTZF, which we tainted is missing in the pods list. This is because that node has a taint which the pod has not started tolerating. So if the pods will have to launch on this node too, we need to add a corresponding toleration on the pod. Whatever node, whatever taint we added on the node, that taint has to exist on the pod as a toleration. So now let's go ahead and edit our deployment configuration. So after the pod spec, just like the container spec, in the same way, with, 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 the, with a similar indentation, just like containers, after the spec section, we need to put something called less tolerations and as i said we need to have we need to have a few sections just like we gave there the first section is key the key what we gave there is taint uh, taint key yeah 
chain to key one is what we gave there. And we gave the operator as equal. So here we need to give it like this operator colon. And then we say E Q U A L and E in capital. And after that, we have to give the value. What we gave is taint value one. And finally, we give the effect, which is nothing but no schedule. So this is how we specify the toleration. One point to note is that here in the operator section, we have equal, but we can also give something like exists, E-X-I-S-T-S. This can also be given. When we give this, the value which is under, which is at, which is one line below this, is not required, not required. So I'm just typing here so that you understand. So whenever you give exists, you just need to give the operator as, as ex exists, you, ne you need to give the key, you need to give the effect, but you don't have to give the value. And this is, this is um, done only when you give exists as the operator. But here we are concentrating with equal. So that is more specific. Since equal is more specific, we could go with this now. Control X, Y, I'm going to create, I'm going to delete the existing deployment. I'm going to delete all. And I'm going to create the deployment again. I'm going to create the deployment again. So this time, let's see if the pods are distributed across all the nodes or if any node is missing. Hyphen O wide. So uh, MTZF is the node which we tainted and it is present here. We could also grep it. Grep MTZF. So we have got uh, three pods running on the first node which we tainted. This is because now the pod has got a toleration that would tolerate the taint on the node. So this is how the taint and toleration would work and uh, that would help us choose nodes or to not choose any nodes for whatever reason in production. So uh, we have used um, the no schedule effect in this video. And just a recap, we created a deployment initially without any taint in it. Um, I'm sorry, without any toleration in it. We, um, uh, but we tainted the node before. After uh, tainting the node, we saw that the pod was not scheduled on one of the nodes. So we have to add a toleration and then we created the pod again, the created the deployment again. And we saw that the pods could get now, uh, could now get scheduled on the nodes without any problem. So this is how the no schedule effect would work in the taint and toleration concept. Hope this video was helpful and we thank you for watching.